Right, well, uh, here's part two of the uh, the bee saga. Um, the bees have been moved today. Just having a look for some signs of some bees. Nothing much going there. They seem to like these little flowers, or they did earlier. Couple of little matey boys working away. Or girls. Not much activity there. Right, there were a few out and about here earlier on. Sort of four or five or so. Oops. Can't see too much happening here now. One flying around. But this is the new hive for them. New little shed. So basically, we've relocated all of the, um, the help of a, a trainee beekeeping chap who came along and helped me this afternoon. Um, we've shoveled the the, um, the nest into the box, and uh, I think we got the majority of bees in there. We've moved it, it's about 8 foot from here to the shed, no a bit more, 12 foot from here to the shed. Unfortunately nothing much happening. A few moments ago, a little bit of sunshine, there were several bees out and about and quite a bit of activity, but it seems to be quiet now. I suppose that's the sun going in. So that's the new... Uh, New location tucked in the hedge and uh, raised off the ground. Hopefully, hopefully, should do the job. Across to the old nest, there's been quite a bit of activity here about four or five bees during the day. Circling round. I think possibly, possibly the only thing we should have done was try to get a little bit more of the material that was left over from the nest. So I might try and actually get that right out of the way so the smell of it or whatever isn't there. Perhaps put it on round near the new nest. A couple of bees looking around. I reckon there's probably sort of like 40 to 50 in the hive. Right now there's, what is this, two. Some more coming back and looking around. I'm hoping that these aren't workers that are lost from perhaps the days pollen collecting. I was hoping the sun would stay out for longer this afternoon to keep them all out. So they might see bees from the bump into bees from the nest and would follow them back. I don't know if that's how it works, goodness knows. But, you know, five bees out of, I don't know, 50, 60, and, you know, they could possibly be finding the nest, I don't know, who knows. I think as I say, I'll round some of that stuff up perhaps late tonight and sprinkle it around near the near the entrance to the nest. Perhaps 
so I'll carry it back in if they, need, if they want to. If there's anything useful there. It might attract the others back. Anyway, that's the bee situation at the moment. Have one last look at the box. So now I can clear the rest of the shed and hopefully get my new woodshed sorted out and tidy up this pile of junk. Can't even hear any buzzing. The chap was saying that they're very good conservers of energy. There was one coming out. So you know, if there's, they don't feel like going out. There's not much happening out there, pollen-wise. They won't. Um, they won't bother. There he goes. She? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Some bee based manoeuvring skills. Yeah, babies. You go tell the others. We should have put it up the other way. Look, it's bowed a little bit. <laughs> I hope it doesn't allow the water to run in. Thank you. Hopefully, it's fairly showered. I've got a big flower to uh, lead them back in. Massive plywood flower. Right, okay, well that's about it. Um, might do another one later on if it survives. Um, try in a couple of days. There we go, look, the aptly named bee land now. Hopefully there will be some bees. Just need some clover or something. Looking a bit grassy and miserable at the moment in bee land. Right, thanks for watching. Bye.